Three years ago, I made a video called Proper Teesside Palmo. It was a Teesside Palmo recipe, and I thought I'd done really well. I was quite new to video making, and then this happened. There was also a lot of amazing comments on there as well of people that have made it at home and really enjoyed the recipe. But I believe I can make a new and improved version that is much better for you to make at home. So let's make the proper Teesside Palmo properly. Well, almost. Begin by taking two chicken breasts and then we're gonna butterfly them open. So take your knife and slice through the center to open them up like a book. Next, season the chicken breast generously on each side with salt and pepper. Place your chicken to one side and set out three bowls or plates ready to make your breadcrumb coating. In the first bowl, place 100 grams of plain or all-purpose flour. Crack two eggs into the second bowl and give them a good whisk. And then in the third bowl, add in 100 grams of fine breadcrumbs. Take one of the chicken breasts and then dip it into the flour until it's completely coated on each side. Give it a little shake to get rid of any of the excess flour and then place it directly into the egg. Make sure it is coated in the egg on both sides. Leave it to drip off any of the excess egg and then dip it into the breadcrumbs. Once again, make sure it's coated thoroughly on each side with the breadcrumbs. Place it onto a plate and then continue with the other chicken breast. Place a large heavy saucepan over medium high heat and fill it halfway with an oil of your choice that is suitable for deep frying. Allow the oil to heat up, we want that to be roughly around 180 degrees Celsius and while we're waiting we'll move on to making the bechamel sauce. Place two small saucepans over low heat and in one of them place 400 milliliters of milk and leave it to warm through. In the other pan, place 50 grams of butter and once it's melted, add in 50 grams of plain flour. Mix the flour and butter together to create a paste and then let the flour to cook out for around two minutes. Gradually add the warm milk into the flour and butter mixture a little bit at a time, stirring between each time to ensure you get a nice smooth sauce. Keep adding the milk gradually until all of the milk is incorporated into the sauce. Season your bechamel sauce with a good pinch of salt and grind of black pepper. And then, this is optional, but you can also add in a little grating of nutmeg. Remove the bechamel sauce from the heat and we'll move on to frying our chicken. Once the oil reaches a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius, you can check this with a temperature probe, but if you don't have one, you could just drop in a little cube of bread, and if it's golden after one minute, then we're ready for frying. Gently place one chicken breast into the oil, and leave it to cook for six minutes until golden brown. You can turn it part way through the cooking process if you want to. I do this one chicken breast at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pan, and it will also lower the oil temperature which could result in soggy, greasy chicken. After six minutes, remove the chicken from the pan and place it onto a plate lined with kitchen paper. And then once they're both cooked, we're gonna place them onto a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. Next, share your bechamel sauce over the two chicken breasts and then spread it out nicely so the full surface area is coated in the bechamel sauce. And then we're gonna grate over some cheddar cheese. Now, I said I'm almost gonna make a proper side palmo properly, and the reason I said that almost is because I'm not using red cheese, because I personally don't like red cheese. So I'm using cheddar cheese, but you can use any cheese that you like. The quantity here doesn't matter too much either. This is down to personal preference. Place your chicken palmos under a hot grill and grill it until the cheese is melty, bubbly and golden on top. And then your Teesside Palmo is ready. I would recommend serving it with chips, garlic sauce and salad. That is the classic way to eat a chicken palmo, but I'm just having it with salad today. Now oh, that's a chicken parmo. It's got beautiful thick layer of bechamel sauce. The cheese is nice and crispy on top. The chicken's even crispier. I think we've done it. 
So that's how I make a proper Teesside Palmo properly. If you watched my previous video, let me know in the comments if you prefer my new and improved version. If you haven't watched the video, I'll leave a link in the description. If you're new here, I hope you give this one a go and try this Northeast delicacy for yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.